Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 10 box Stanley Cup Playoffs Hockey Mixer. All 31 teams are in, no vet common ship. The cards in the photo are some potential hits from that hit parade right there. So there's, there's, some, there's some things to chase in those two emerald boxes right there. We got some Ultimate Trilogy, SPX, five boxes of Series 1. Big thanks to this group for making it happen, appreciate it. Congrats again to the people who won spots in those uh, lure packs help fill up this break and all 31 teams are in let's do it let's roll it let's randomize names and teams eight the hard way four and a four one two three four five six seven and eight and final time after eight we got Jeffrey on the pole down to Steve Locke four and a four eight the hard way for the teams one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and good luck. Eighth and final time. After eight, we've got the Tampa Bay Lightning down to the Arizona Coyotes. All right, Jeffrey with the Lightning, Martin with the Panthers, Brian with the Kings, uh, Matt with the Caps, Martin with the Hurricanes, Matt with the Oilers. Brian with the Sharks, Martin with the Canadiens, Brendan with the Ducks, Matt with the uh, the Bruins and the Canucks, Bennett with the Maple Leaves, David with the Avs, Steve Locke with the Preds, Martin, you got the Jets, Chris with the Red Wings, Mike with the Rangers, Steve with the Devils, Steven with the Flames, Martin with the Penguins, Brittany with the Flyers, Steven with the Blackhawks, Matt with the Stars, Matthew with the Blue Jackets, Michael with the Golden Knights, Martin with the Blues, Matthew with the Islanders, Martin with the Senators, Kevin with the Sabres, Matt with the Wild, Matt Arnold with the Wild, and Steve Lock, Arizona Coyotes. So let's keep this, get all, try to get all the teams all on one page here. Let's sort by team alphabetically. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No trades, no deals were done, so that list remains the same. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Appreciate it. And let's see what we got. So there's our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we're going to get the series one out of the way first before we start working into some of the uh, the higher end boxes. So we'll close out with the two. Hip Parade Emerald boxes. There could be some real monsters in there, but first, let's work through this. So we're basically looking for Young Guns cards in here in the Series 1, among others. But those, that's the main chase. Nice, Mike. Drafted out of Golden West College in Huntington Beach, California. That's just about, probably about 40 minutes south of us. We do have some hockey on tonight. TNT Oilers are in Colorado. Oilers at Avs. Who does everyone have in this matchup? So Rex is doing a little, little pre-game research here. This is the, the win-loss total for the Oilers' abs. Wait, I don't understand this. The win-loss total for the Oilers' abs is 86, 87, and 8. Are these head-to-head -head matchups, you're saying? And their playoff record is 40, 48, and 4? ESPN is claiming that uh, this may be the best possible conference finals. Rangers, Lightning, Avs, Oilers.
Gotcha. So historically, Oilers and Avs have been have been have matched up pretty evenly. At least record wise. Pretty similar. Now, Mike Tower saying Montreal, Anaheim, Florida, Boston, New Jersey, he thinks are, are the good teams in Series 1, with the possibility of maybe some clear cuts, exclusive number to hundreds, high gloss number to tens. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, I think we'll be seeing the clear cut. Those are the acetate cards, or we'll probably see some of those. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. Dazzlers here. I think those are somewhat shorter printed. Some young guns. Ross Colton for Tampa Bay is going to go to Jeffrey. Anthony Mantha will go to the Capitals. That'll be for Matt. See Connor McDavid in action a little bit later in about 20 minutes. I think we'll still probably be in the middle of this break by the time the puck drops. It's for Edmonton. That'll be for Matt Lehman. We've got some more young guns. There's Uko, Pekka, Luconin for Buffalo. Kevin with the Sabres. Yeah, the canvas cards do look really cool too. I think there are Young Guns cards that could be canvas as well, which would be nice to see. There's a canvas right there. Got Spencer Knight for Florida. That'll be for Martin. Rookie retrospective, Alexi Lafreniere. Kaprizov. Uh, portraits. I don't know how short printed that is, but got a couple wild cards here. A couple wild cards. Kalen Addison for Matt Arnold in Minnesota, and the Kaprizov portrait. Mike Tower saying Spencer Knight's a good one. Yeah, you're gonna have to let me know, ladies and gentlemen. I'm working on just being more knowledgeable about hockey, but you have to let me know who the uh, good ones are, or not, as the case may be. Wade Allison, Young Guns, for the Flyers, that's gonna be for Brittany in Philadelphia. Oh, and the game jersey. That's Robert Thomas going to the Blues. St. Louis, that's going to be for Brian. Or check that, Martin. That's St. Louis. And we'll do a, let's say, we'll do a left right randomizer on those. These portraits are a little more common than we think, than I initially thought. All right, Joshua Dunn for Columbus. That's going to go to Matthew Wood. Mike saying about 20, 30 bucks for that Spencer Knight. Is that raw? So maybe with a good grade, maybe a little bit more than that. It's not bad.
Right, <laughs> not not Rob Thomas. That's Robert Thomas, hockey player, not Robert Thomas, uh, pop star. So looking at the so-called experts on ESPN, predicting the Eastern Conference Finals, Rangers versus Lightning. Uh, Sean Allen, I'm not going to read off all these names. Uh, lightning and six, lightning and six, lightning and seven, lightning and seven, lightning and seven, lightning and seven, lightning and seven. Lightning, says Chris Chelios. Uh, we got a Rangers vote, mostly Rangers in seven, but it's all lightning, 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 lightning. Rangers in six, Rangers in seven, lightning, lightning, Rangers, lightning, Rangers, lightning, lightning, Rangers, 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 lightning, Rangers. So most of the so-called experts saying uh, saying the, the lightning take it, 20 of the 28 going with the lightning. It did. I, uh, I just forgot to upload it, Taylor. I uplo it should be up now. I uploaded about an hour or two ago. All right, Western Conference Finals. Looks like most of the, if all of the votes are abs. Consensus pick, Avalanche. 25 out of the 28 votes are all picking abs, mostly in six or seven. The few Oilers picks, Mark Messier saying Oilers in seven. Arda O'Call, Oilers in six. Kevin Weeks, Oilers in seven. In case you're wondering, Mark Messier did pick the Rangers to win in seven. It was one of the one of the eight picking the Rangers in that other side. All right, next box, good luck. You got Kalen Addison, Young Guns from Minnesota. It's another one for Matt Arnold. There's one of those clear cards right here. These are pretty cool too. That'll definitely ship. Only Vet Commons don't ship. Right, Messi picking the two teams and for which he played. It makes sense. Joshua Dunn, Young Guns. Right. Rex, of course, is, uh, is has vested interest in the Oilers because of his Connor McDavid that he has in his collection. Yeah, will the Avs take? I mean, the Avs, I think Avs one of the big favorites going into the Stanley Cup playoffs. But I think the knock on them is that sometimes they suffer an exit a little bit earlier than a lot of fans or experts. Maybe this year's the year. There's R2, Ruo Stalanian. I'm going to roll with that. Buffalo, Kevin with the Sabres. Another Young Guns. That's Daniel Walcott for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Perhaps the brother of English footballer Theo Walcott. There's that Spencer Knight, another one for Florida. Martin with the Florida Panthers. Mike Tower saying that about 20, 30 bucks a pop 
Will Spencer Knight Young Guns Raw? Some Dazzlers. And there's Cole Ling for Vancouver. That's going to go to Matt Lehman. And you Soros, Dazzlers, Nashville. That's going to be Steve Lott. Yeah, those Young Guns cards were were similar. A couple doubled up. And we'll see a little more variety. And this one. Let's see what ESPN has to say. About these matchups. Yeah, so the Rangers, let's see, how did they get there? They beat the Penguins in a seven game series, beat the Hurricanes in the seven game series. Goalie confidence rating a 10. I'm assuming this is out of 10. Got a few breaks coming up here. Looks like uh, Chris Kreider, forward Chris Kreider, saying, I've kind of referred to us as cockroaches. Rangers Chris Kreider, we've, we just didn't go away. That's always been ingrained in the culture of every good team I've been on here. We just don't go away regardless of the score, regardless of where the game is. We just keep on trying to find our game and playing for each other. Rangers according to the writer here. Still aren't an impressive five-on-five -five team, relying on Tresurgan to bail them out even at strength, which he has. They're tremendous on the power play, though, as Carolina witnessed. They have depth at forward and are getting excellent play from defensemen like Fox and Truba. The coach, Gerard Gallon, is pushing the right buttons when it comes to line contribution combinations. Zabenyad led the way with three points. Kreider, two goals, blah, blah, blah. They need continued offense from Fox, et cetera, et cetera. Player needs to step up. Artemi Panarin. Let's see. Tampa Bay Lightning also goalie confidence rating of 10. The Maple Leafs took them to seven, but they swept the Panthers. We're supposed to be supposed, expected to go fairly far, but or maybe put up more of a fight. But they've got Andre Vasilevsky, one of the greatest postseason goaltenders in NHL history. All right, yeah, they're pretty. Tampa Bay is a pretty tough team. All right. Next box. We got some more young guns. Speaking of Tampa Bay, there's Alex Barre Boulet. Jeffrey with the Lightning. Let's see some Connor McDavid's here for the Oilers. All right, and we've got Dakota Joshua for St. Louis. Young Guns card for Martin. Another one of those clear-cut foundations card. Mark Scheifele and Nikolai Ellers. Die cut as well. Those are pretty cool. Winnipeg, that's going to go to Martin. Zach Jones, 
for the Rangers, Young Guns card. That'll be for Mike Tower. That's a cool shot. The ice kicking up there. Got Jack Akan for Boston. That's going to be for Matt Lehman and the Bruins. More young guns. We got Jeremy Swayman for Boston. Another one for Matt. Dazzlers, Cole Caulfield for Martin and Montreal. Yeah, Mike saying Swayman's a good one too. More young guns. This one's for the Sharks. Jeffrey Veal. That's Brian with San Jose. Cole Caulfield, Canadiens, Montreal. Uh, Swayman was the starting goaltender for the U.S. in the World Championships. Nice. It's a Young Guns canvas. That's Grigory Denisenko. That looks pretty cool. For the Florida Panthers, that's going to be for Martin. And more Dazzlers. Alex Newhook. Same as the old hook. Colorado, that's going to be David. Knife bit me. See that? They're nothing but nice to you. The coal field's about ninety dollars. That's awesome. be for, uh, once again, that's for uh, Martin and the Canadians. Nice. All right. So, Lightning, we know they're good. Uh, Nikita Series, Nikita Kucherov. Player needs to step up. The lack of the, I said, what they're saying is the lack of production is injury related. Injury related. So if they, if they can get John Cooper back in the action. Yeah, if they... So two really, really good goalies here. This person is predicting Rangers in seven. So maybe they have that sort of nebulous postseason magic, that Cinderella season. So a match of really good goalies, goaltenders. So are we taking unders <laughs> on these games? All right. What about what about the Avs? Avs swept the Preds and then beat the beat the Blues four to two in that series. Goalie confidence rating seven point five out of ten. So 
So not as not as confident as the two other guys. It's, it's kind of like a conference finals sort of uh, trying to get a little primer for me. So I guess Kemper has not seen a lot of uh, shots in the playoffs, but he's going to see a lot with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisettel, etc. McCarr and McKinnon will be the keys to the Avs. Kemper, maybe Miko Rontanen, maybe need to step up according to ESPN, this ESPN writer. That's right, Rex, I've been watching the pregame. Game does start at the top of the hour. What about the Oilers? They beat my Kings in a seven-game series and then beat their rivals, Calgary Flames, 4-1. to one. Goalie confidence, 8 out of 10. It's Kyle Connor. Dazzlers, Winnipeg, Martin with that one. I think a lot of people will say that See that a solid series from Mike Smith will keep the Oilers in play. And this writer says Colorado in seven is the prediction. Yeah, Martin's pointing out Kucherov missed two and a half months. There's Brinson uh, Pasichun. Young Guns for San Jose. That'll be for Brian and the Sharks. We got Michael Hauser, Young Guns for the Sabres. That'll be for Kevin. Buffalo! Got young guns for Vancouver. Mark Michaelis. Matt Lehman with the Vancouver Canucks. The F1 break, you mean? It'll help if I uh, make that video public. Alright. There you go, Taylor. Should be up now. Refresh your page. It should be towards the top. There is Shane Pinto for the Ottawa Senators. Martin. It'll help if I press publish, ladies and gentlemen. Turns out that'll make your... Uh, Make your videos live so people can watch it. That's the whole point. Kyle Connor, Dazzlers for Winnipeg. Martin. Are being built right before my eye. Oh, okay. That looks, looks like a fun giveaway happening in this mixer, too. It's like a baseball mixer, ladies and gentlemen. A gold ink autograph on a black baseball. That looks awesome, too. So keep an eye on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. 
the baseball mixer may appear in the next day or so. Logan Thompson, Vegas Golden Knights. Michael Robinson. And we got a, that looks different for some reason. It's more of a, I thought, oh, because it's numbered right there. I, I knew it was different. It's 182 out of 250. Leon Dreisaitl, Edmonton. That'll be for Matt Lehman. Puck drop about to happen soon. All right, fifth and final series one box, and we'll get into uh, the, the rest of these boxes back here. So the base heavy stuff done, and then we'll get into sort of those one pack a box sort of things. Or I think Trilogy might have a couple, but anyway. Rex has some trivia for us. How many teams have never made it to the Stanley Cup Finals? And which team has the longest drought? There must be a number of teams that haven't made it to the Stanley Cup Finals, right? I mean... Right, that's a good that's a good uh, good question, Mike. Mike's asking appearance drought or winning drought. No, I'm good, sir. Thank you. Of course. Appreciate it. Of course. Have a good one. Appearance drought. Yeah, Steve Locke's like <laughs> he's a wild Minnesota Wild fan. He's like. They've never made it. Even even in the uh, North Star days, I guess that's a completely different team, technically. The Kraken have never made it. Have Arizona? I don't, I don't think I remember Arizona being in a in a Stanley Cup final. Maybe it's fewer teams than I thought. North Stars did make it once, and obviously they're now the Dallas Stars. So I don't know. I say five teams have not never made it to the Cup Finals. Longest drought? Appearance drought? I'll say, I don't know. I'll say the Ottawa Senators. I don't know. Pay off the trivia, Rex. What, what, what are our answers here? Mike, Mike Freshwater thinking nine teams have not made it. And then Sabres, longest appearance drought? No, I'm, I'm just taking shots in the dark. I really don't know. Am I right with five teams? Uh, that was a wild guess, but... Someone fact check Rex as well. Sometimes he tends to look at just the first Google result. It has happened before. There's Tanner Lekaczynski, Young Guns, for Philadelphia. That's going to be for Brittany and the Flyers. Is it Toronto? Toronto Maple Leafs. Rex is saying longest... Uh, 54 years since they've made an appearance in the uh, Stanley Cup Finals. Wow. Ross Colton, Tampa Bay Lightning. That's going to go to Jeffrey. Uh, 
Did they win it 54 years ago? There's Garrett Pylon, Capitals, Young Guns, Washington. That's going to be for Matt. Connor Hellebuck, Dazzlers for Winnipeg, Martin. Who are the five teams that uh, that have never made the appearance? Can we figure that? Could we figure that out between us and the chat? There's Ole Alsing for Ottawa. That's going to be for Martin. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed Toronto as well. I, I would have thought that like in like the '90s they would they they would have made an appearance or something like that, early 2000s or something. We got for the St. Louis Blues, Dakota John, uh, Dakota Johnson, not Dakota Johnson, Dakota Joshua. Dakota Johnson's a different person. Uh, Martin with the St. Louis Blues. Young Guns Canvas, nice. That's David Ferrance for Nashville. That's going to go to Steve Locke and the Preds. We've got Parker Kelly for Ottawa. That's going to go to Martin, Young Guns. Mike saying Kraken, Blue Jackets, Wild. Maybe uh, Arizona as well. Those are your five boxes of series one. All right, now. Ah, Arizona and the Winnipeg Jets. All right, some trilogy. After this, do you have time for a quick um, um, giveaway thing? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to show me how that works. There's Philip Kurashev, three ninety nine. Alexi Lafreniere, rookie super stage, and there he is again. Rookie premieres level two to four ninety nine. Rangers. That's gonna be Mike Tower. I don't know how many levels there are, but. There it is, and looking like he could be a nice contributor. Ty Dalandrea, rookie renditions relic.
Ooh, nice signature pucks. Roman Yossi. 17 out of 21 for Steve Locke and the Predators. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Super Stage, Stephen Lorentz, Carolina, Martin. And Nick Foligno, Foligno, Blue Jackets, Matthew Wood. So, so the list apparently covers the old Jets who became the Coyotes and the new Jets, formerly the Atlanta Thrashers, Mike Freshwater pointing out, man, the Jets kind of a, a cursed team name. Yeah, they just did both. They did O Canada first and then they did, uh, did, the, uh, did our national anthem. Ours is what matters. I think so, yeah, no offense Canada, but... a bigger finish at the end too, you know. Yeah. Hmm? Who's his older? Uh, ours, got, ours has to be older, right? When was ours? Because I feel like Canada was a, a, a British principality, an English principality for a long time, so they're right. still probably seeing God Save the Queen right. until much more recently. You know, then they just... Right. There's Doug Wilson's super scripts for Chicago. That'll be for Stephen K. Actually, Anthem was 1814. Okay, for and US. O Canada. That's got to be like 1910. Well, it was proclaimed the national anthem 1980. So In 1980. Yeah, okay. uh -huh. Really close. I mean, maybe it was before, but it wasn't proclaimed yet. Oh, Canada wasn't proclaimed until 1980? Yeah. Oh. Before I was right. uh, Chicago Blackhawks, that's going to be for Stephen Kendrick. There's Tarasenko to 299 for the Blues. We got Mikey Anderson for my Kings. 283 out of 349 Obsidian Rookies. Brian Heyman. And the relic is Philip Kurashev for Chicago. That's going to be going to Stephen K. All right. How about some Ultimate Collection hockey? And then two Hit Parade boxes. Yeah, I've not heard that anthem. Jack White, a little slide guitar, opening day for the Tiger. That sounds cool. All right, we've got a nice ultimate introductions. Alexi Lafreniere. Nice. That's for Mike Tower. We got Jonas Johansson, ultimate rookies. Buffalo! It's going to go to Kevin and the Sabres. I think my, uh, my favorite national anthem was uh, Olympic sprinter Carl Lewis. He had a pretty good one. Pierre Olivier Joseph. Thomas Fergie's. 67 out of 99. At the All-Star Game. Classic, classic, I remember that. Pittsburgh, that's gonna be for Martin. Rex is saying Jimmy Kimmel, Vince Vaughn, Zoe Deschanel, Kendrick Lamar, all live in Hermosa Beach. 
Yeah, actually, uh, they we have to have them as a Jaspi guest. Sure. They've already been here. They're on our VIP streams. That's true. Yeah. You don't have access to Rex. Yeah. No. No access to our to our VIP streams. Patreon only. It's Patreon only people who have um, come to our card shop get into our VIP streams. Zoe has been here before. Uh, Nikolai. Knizov. Actually, Nick has. Haven't you. You've seen Vince Vaughn, like, at the beach, right? Like, yeah. Like, riding his bike or something like that? Yeah. yeah Vince Vaughn like def six, definitely spotted around here. Six, eight. So, Vince Vaughn's definitely around town. I don't think. I don't think he's. I don't think Zoe Dishanel, Kendrick Lamar are really seen around town. I don't know if don't these might be Kendrick secondary. Lamar is he, he might have a house in Hermosa Beach. I don't know if he actually lives here. All right. And we have Robert Thomas. Nice patch, nice autograph. 85 out of 249 from the Cup Hockey for the St. Louis Blues. Martin with St. Louis. Nice. All right, and the final box. Yeah, we'll eventually get some more hockey back on the site, see? The appetite for hockey has waned a little bit, so we have to, we, we have to starve the people of a little hockey and then we'll, we'll put some back up on the site. All right, last one is gonna be... Alex DeBrincat. 30 out of 50, another one from the Cup Hockey. Nice patch, nice autograph, and a nice one for Stephen Kendrick and the Chicago Blackhawks. 30 out of 50. Nice. All right, so quick little recap. Those are your hit parade hits. Those are pretty nice. Those were the rest, the relics, the autographs, and some other highlights. Those signature pucks are really cool. Some Lafreniere, some some young guns, and a bunch of stuff to uh, to sleeve or to they're already sleeved. A bunch of stuff to top load and send out to you. Let's do a quick left right randomizer on those cards from series one. Uh, so let's go back to random.org. And we got a left right randomizer. Let's roll it and randomize it. One and a five, six times. Side on top after six, we'll get them. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time, right? Once more? Yeah, one more. And that's going to be the right side. So all the right side teams will get those, uh, those checklist cards. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was Jaspie's 10-box Stanley Cup Playoffs Mixer. Random team break number one. I'm Joe. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.